Bess Shapiro is looking for ancient bones at a mining site in Canada's Yukon Territory. So this is really cool. What we've just found, you can see, is one, two, three, four pieces of mammoth bone here. Just heard that big splash of water back there. That means another hole is broken through. Here comes the water. We better get out of here. In her book, How to Clone a Mammoth, the associate professor of ecology at the University of California imagines bringing the elephant's ancient cousin back to life. But de-extinction is a complicated process. Unlike Dolly the sheep cloned in the mid-1990s, mammoths are not candidates for that approach. There are no living cells, so we can't clone an extinct species. But genomics offers another pathway. Shapiro says by identifying the genes that differ between the mammoth and its closest living relative, the Asian elephant, <laughs> researchers set the stage for genetic editing. In essence, this genome editing technology is going to swap out bits of an elephant genome for the mammoth version of genes that we know are critical to making a mammoth look and act like a mammoth. But why do that, asks Ross McPhee, curator of mammals at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. If the animals themselves have no further ecological role because they've disappeared for hundreds or even thousands of years, what does it mean to bring them back and park them in an environment of which they have really no relationship anymore? Shapiro responds that de-extinction can play a role, not to bring back the past, but to protect today's threatened and endangered species. If we can create an animal that by bringing this animal back or bringing the traits back of an extinct species, we can somehow save living species or re-establish and reinvigorate existing ecosystems. McPhee isn't convinced. I think the only way forward is to have the conversation and get people aware of what the issues are and one hopes over time to have both political and economic solutions. Bess Shapiro welcomes that discussion, especially before a de-extinction takes place, which she says, given the technical, ethical and ecological challenges, will not occur anytime soon. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.